We are gathered here in the presence of friends and loved ones. I do not celebrate the unity of Anita and Michael in holy matrimony. The measure of true love is a love of freely given and freely accepted. Anita, are you here to ask Michael to be your partner, your lover, your soulmate and husband? Do you intend to give him your deepest friendship and love? Not only when you're feeling bright and alive, but also when you're feeling down. Michael, are you here to give Benita to be your partner, your lover, your soulmate and husband? Do you intend to give her your deepest friendship and love, not only when you're feeling bright and alive, but also when you're feeling down? As you travel through life together, I caution you to remember the true measure of success, the true avenue of joy and peace, is to be found within the love you hold in your hearts. I would ask that you hold the key to your heart very tight. Who holds the reins? I do. As king of the rings, one of the things that I think is very important to note is that Many years ago, the, in, in North Africa on the Nile River, the Egyptians settled there because it had a great river. And they were so excited about it that all the love things they did, they took the reeds and made them into rings. They put them on the third finger. Third finger now, that's one, two, three, this one right here. Because it's closest vein to the heart. And that's where the rings began. And it begins the, sing the symbol of the beginning and the end. And that's something that I think that we have here today. And the neatest part about this is when, you, when they slide this onto their finger, the, the center also says they start into the known and the unknown. But God has put together two people that I know for a fact have absolutely loved each other, are a part of each other, and are truly soulmates. The reason there's buoys on this, because one, they thought I would drop it. <laughs> and secondly, they, they, Michael, this is your last chance, brother. <laughs> you can dive after it, or I can hand it to your daughter. Hand it to my daughter. No. And I think I, that's what I'm going to do. But I will say that this is the greatest honor that anybody can have is to put this ring on to show their love and affection for each other for eternity. And that's what this stands for. So actually, Dustin? <laughs> <laughs>
Christian. May God bless you too. Sorry, I didn't rehearse. <coughs> Benita, from this day forward, I promise you these things. I'll share your dreams and support you through all of your goals in life. I will listen to you with compassion and speak to you with encouragement. I will always adore you and remain faithful to our vows. You are my best friend and I will love and respect you for always. I will always be your biggest fan. Peter? Peter and Michael, as the two of you have joined in this marriage, uniting as husband and wife, and as you this day affirm your faith and love for one another, I would ask that you always remember to cherish each other as special and unique individuals, that you respect the thoughts and ideas and suggestions of one another, be able to forgive, do not hold grudges, and live each day that you may share it together, as from this day forward you shall be each other's home, comfort, and refuge. Your marriage strengthened by your love and respect. Benita and Michael, as much as two of you have agreed to live together in matrimony, have promised your love for each other. By these vows of giving of the ring, Now declare you to be husband and wife. Congratulations, you may now just arrive. Fishing. He's killed like tons of big fish. I was like, he built that boat over there. He built that dock and, I, and all that kind of thing. Like everybody's like, wow, he's you know he's pretty amazing and stuff. And I was like, you know, well yeah he is, but uh, but he's he just now just took on the hardest thing he ever probably. Uh, yeah, and I know this, but yeah. But uh, but yeah, also I've also always said that uh, you know there's two. And so far in my life, there's only two real level-headed people I've ever run into. Myself is one, of course, and, uh, and, and the other one is my mom. And, uh, you know, we always say that all these decisions we have to make in life and that kind of thing, you know, we always second-guess them and push them off and that kind of thing, which is kind of, you know, kind of the way it is today, to push them off and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, I don't doubt at all that this is a, uh, this is a very good decision. Mike, I love you to death, man. Welcome you to the family. Thank you. 